Joshua Masandawana, welcome to another installment of Yellow Corner, brought to you by Masandawana Van Vlog to preview our semi final first leg away at Golden Arrows. And today we're joined by former Golden Arrows stalwart Misa Musa Bilankul. Hola, Musa, Shabunze, who's it, Mayoti? I'm right, Putua Monjan. Hello to everyone, Masandawana fans. I ah, know, Siapila, 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 I'm fit. So, yeah. Once again, thank you for your time. We really appreciate you making time to join us and uh, we can't wait for your input, eh? All right, good one. no problem. Mm. So, uh, we it's Sundown's uh, Arrows semi-final, a uh, MTN8 a tournament that Arrows last won when you were still playing. Uh, how, how, what do you think uh, are their chances of winning it this season? Yeah, I think uh, there's a big chance of them competing well and winning the, the MTN8, considering the fact that yeah. there's a history behind uh, everything. And uh, the new generation is showing the, the good qualities of competing and winning something from last season and building up to this season. Yeah, no, I agree with you. The team is really... Uh, 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 looking good this season, eh? and uh, with the appointment of uh, the new coach, oh, Coach Siema, who I think you might have worked with him, who sell ticks, ne? Yes. So, uh, your, your your thoughts on his appointment? Yeah, I've always said uh, he's he's been uh, good and he's growing as a as a person and as a coach. Because I started working with him under our coach uh, Ernest Mindendorf in 2018 in Bloemfontein. Wow. So since from then, he, he worked with experienced coaches like Coach Linton Lassin, Coach Steve Pompela, and uh, other coaches, or Dylan Kerr. So I think he has grown and is showing good signs as a coach. So it's just a matter of time that he stamp his authority to get something under his belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, th- I also really like Coach Sam. Coach, uh, uh, I think uh, he has a bright future ahead of him, you know, and it's, it's, it's really pleasing to see our local teams believing in a, a, a fellow Black brothers, you know, so we wish him nothing but the best. Uh, when he plays everyone else except us, you know, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Arrows uh, in the transfer window have lost uh, key figures in their team. You know, they've lost Gladwin Shitolo, who played 22 games last season, amounting to 1,600 minutes. uh, uh, Parusnath, who played 29 uh, uh, games in all competition, amounting to 2,026 minutes. And then who never die as well, who played uh, 24 games in all competition amounting to 2,052 minutes. Uh, what effect do you think uh, uh, this will have or has had in the team? Yeah, you can say there's, there's been a change uh, because, as you mentioned, that there's key players that they have moved from uh, the team to, to other teams to further their career. But I believe that... Uh, there's guys who have stepped up as well that uh, are really showing the signs to take over from those guys because I, I think they, they were preparing for this situation that whoever leaves, someone must step up and take a jersey from the next player. So their acquisitions uh, this season, I believe they, they are similar, even though they are not the type of players which you can say they, they they are they they really uh, how can I put it? Maybe not as experienced like, as like, the... like like never die. Yes, like never die. He, he was he was an exceptional player for them because he needs to dictate the pace of the game and sometimes they uh, add a little bit of skill. But I believe what it is now they've changed Mjali to another role and in Rwanda as well has stepped up mm-hmm. to be a, to play a, a big role in the team and Muzuke has 
has stepped up the game in the midfield. So it's, it's a chance for new players that have, have come to the team to showcase their talent as well. Because if you remember, never die. And Abo uh, Kumete, they were signed by Coach Steve Compella in two years back. And there was a question that mm. will they will they step up? And yes, they did step up. So I believe those who are abroad, they will they will step up and try to lead the team and make the team to be competitive as well. Yeah, no, I fully agree with you. Uh, Aros has that history of uh, when other players progress, they don't necessarily go into the market to sign the next that known player. They always find those half diamonds and fine tune them. You know, yeah. Yes. Uh, Rapela, uh, this season, Knox is a key figure of the team, but he's he hasn't started uh, the last two league games. He's only started uh, uh, the the MTN game against Super Sport. You know, uh, what do you make of that? Look, I think I think it is, the, oh. I think it is the, the the competition within the team. I think other uh, 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 players have stepped up, like uh, 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 Abuti Musa have said. I think uh, Lena he knows that he, if someone gets uh, the, the chance and he uses the, he use the chance in order to to help the team, I think uh, it, it, it is key. So I think right now it is uh, the moment for for other players to shine. So I think Lena, he knows of his time will come. But uh, a, a, a guy like uh, Knox Mutis is very experienced. And CMI, he knows that there are certain games to where he will definitely need his experience in, in the field. Wena mm-hmm. Musa, your take on that? Yeah, as, as uh, my brother has mentioned, that uh, the coach, he knows uh, what is Knox capable of doing? So now he is trying to to figure out. I think that uh, if Knox is not available, who can take over? And because as much as you plan for the teams, even the teams are planning for you. So you can't uh, have a same starting lineup and same personnel. So I I believe the coach is trying to to play around these players and trying to see in other combinations who can fit where and if we want to go this way, who can complement who. So it's not about uh, his experienced player, which is, is there, he is left on the on the squad, which was playing last season. So he needs to play each and every game, but he needs to integrate other players so that they, they are on the same level. So when the competition is, is heated, they know that they can count on each and every one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Eh? Uh, Rabela, uh, what do you make of how ours have started this season? Uh, but let's say the game is a three now. Ne? They won their first game yeah, won, uh, against Super Sport in, pen- in penalties, and then they won against uh, Maritzberg, the KZ, and Derby, even though it was a difficult game that. I believe Maritzburg should have easily buried in the first half. And then they lost uh, against Supersport uh, Mobani. So uh, what do you make of how they've started up? I long, I think they started uh, with, with the right foot, like uh, managing to beat uh, Supersport in the quarterfinal of the, 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 the MTN. And I, I think that win against Supersport gave them that confidence in order to start uh, uh, the new season of uh, this TV champion championship very well and they managed to collect uh, three points against Marisbeck even though they didn't play quite well but still they, they got what matters the most which is a, a three points and they dropped another uh, a three point against Super Sport so I think they started very well but I think they are setting a, a, a mistakes that they, they, they can rectify so it is good that you make mistakes early in the season so that you have other mm. 20 Nine or twenty-eight games to 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 fix and prepare very thoroughly. Mm-hmm. Well, Namusa, what do you make of uh, your former team start to the season? Yeah, it's still early to say, but uh, 
so far, I, I believe it's a good turnover. Two out of three games is, is not a, a, a bad record. Uh, I believe what it, it's good that it happened uh, now that mm. they, they, they lost uh, before they go to, to an MTN8 Cup game in semi final because they were going to be uh, complacent or they were going to be arrogant that they have made three on three before they play Sundown. So other things you must look at as a, a positive, even though it's a negative. So uh, I still say that it is a good start from them, considering the fact that they've changed a lot mm-hmm. of, of players. So, and it was going to be tricky either way. To play one team two times in less than mm-hmm. uh, two weeks is it's very difficult. So it's it, it's a great start. I they 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 mustn't put their heads down and think that they all is lost. It was just a lesson that they, they've lost the the super sport game. In the it was unfortunately that it was a, a league game because you always want to to go as much as uh, in a good run. So you know that uh, you have won many games in the league before you get your first loss, like they did last season. They, they went, I think, 11 games or 12 games and beat him. Mm-hmm. You see, because it gives you a momentum and confidence to, to challenge and stay uh, with the pack. Mm-hmm. I've always wondered, you know, you mentioned something uh, when you were speaking about the hours and how they've started. You mentioned a word uh, complacency there. Né? I've always wondered when it comes to uh, when teams play the big three, Chiefs, Pirates, Sundowns. Uh, what changes? Uh, is the is the psychological thing? Which we're playing one of the big teams. We need to put more effort. What happens uh, uh, when it comes to playing uh, uh, one of the big three teams? You don't need motivation when you play those guys because you know uh, you want to be to be one of them at the end of the day. Because everyone, everyone's dream is to play for a big team. Mm-hmm. So as much as the coach can say, we need to win this game, mentally you, you have the thing that I want to show them. I want to showcase my talent against these guys. So one day I can be part of them. Like the like likes of our divine Loma. Mm-hmm. He had that dream, I'm sure. And the dream came true now. Because... It's difficult to play the the so-called small teams because you're on the same level. Mm. Yeah, so it's 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 difficult to get the motivation because you, you always think, I ah, this is gonna be an easy game, and then you know you find the surprise that is gonna be a hard game. But the so-called big three, then you know that you need to step up because once you slip up, they will they can hammer you even five. You see, so. That's why it, 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 they find it difficult, those three yeah, big teams, to, to play against so-called small teams because they, they make sure that they, they need to step up their game so the game can be more competitive. Mm. Now I hear you. I hear you. Uh, I always have a really good squad, man. I always have a really entertaining team, you know. Uh, ever since I started watching ours, they've been one of those teams that you don't need to support them to enjoy or watch their games. You just know that you guaranteed a good football, you know. I think of ours, I go back to the days of Abu Pra, Tsekonzo, and Abu Sbego. I enjoyed that team. I enjoyed watching that team. You know, when just uh, as they, they arrived in the PSL, and then then came you guys, Abu Papi, Abu uh, KG, you know, enjoyed that team as well, you know. I'm honestly enjoying the current team uh, as well. I enjoy watching this team, you know. Uh, for you, Musa, what are the strengths of uh, this team? It's known to keep the ball, start the ball from the back and play a good, entertaining football and go quick, as quick as possible forward because they always have the energetic players from midfield to strikers. So that's why they have the edge sometimes against other teams because they've got the uh, quick and energetic and skillful players. 
So if you you think sometimes they will play on a counter, sometimes they 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 play a build attack football, sometimes they go on a counter, sometimes they they keep the ball to suck you in. So they they have different types of approach in the games, and that that helps the players they they acquire into the team. Because sometimes you have to have players that they are confident in the ball, that will keep the ball, that will start the ball from the back and go quickly forward. So that's why they, they, they have that uh, upper hand. That is their strength in, in most cases. Yeah, man. Um, you know, when you watch our, our uh, start play, it's, it's, it's really interesting and it, you can tell that there's a lot of training uh, that happens uh, during the week, you know. Uh, you have your, your your two center backs on the corner of 18, and then Uzuke drops into the D. Uh, the ball is played to Uzuke, and then uh, 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 Umduandre drops to, to fetch with the, the full backs uh, up almost uh, by the center. And once they bypass uh, it, it, your, your press, you are in trouble. And then another thing that uh, Musa mentioned was uh, their, uh, 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 how quick they are in attack. Like, when we played them last season, Coach Ulani mentioned that uh, transition airborne, it takes them eight seconds from the time they win the ball into the final third of the opponents. You know? So if, 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 if uh, you, you're sleeping, they will definitely punish you. you know? And Rapelang, when I, your, the strength that you've seen from them, I think Golden Arrows uh, have been known for it, but for a team that has a, a, a good players, especially in the middle of the park, they are very uh, brave middle fielders and they are comfortable on the ball. And when you're a team that loves to, to, to build up from the back, it is a must that you have a, a, a guys who are comfortable on the ball, guys who are not afraid to, to, to fetch the ball and a, 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 a have movement where they give other players a, a options and also a, another a, a, a strength that I've seen is that when they when when they, they, they lose position they want to regain the position immediately and they, they, they press you and they limit your options of going forward so they force you to start a, a, a fresh the, the, the build up by a, making a, a, a bad passes and also they have nippy a, a, a wingers which is a Tongo and a, a, a mode pull a mode who loves to, to take on a defenders and get in front of the defenders to, to, to great chances as a, a, they, they, they got the penalty against a, a super sport and also a other strength is that in the final third they did place those Beautiful uh, 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 one twos, yes. but sometimes they overdo the one twos. There are certain moments where they should take a, a shot out, outside the box and see what uh, uh, can happen. And also, uh, 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 there the, are the middle fielders like Valenciano and Dandu. Uh, is always in the uh, edge of the box, like he gives Bobo uh, Gumete, Bomodi options to, to, to lay the ball uh, to him. And also, uh, he's always inside the, the box. One can say that a, a box to box because of you'll find him in the box of uh, 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 Aros and also in the box of the, the, the opponents. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I almost forgot uh, you know, how they defend, they don't defend in a low block. They don't defend too high. They don't defend uh, 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 too deep. You know, they position themselves in a way. Yare, the moment they get the ball, they get quickly into uh, the final mm -hmm. third. Another thing as well is that that I picked up, especially yesterday in the game here, Super Sport, is that Modi is smart. Modi knows when to be on on the outside, on the wing, on the left, ne? and then. At times he goes in, he tucks in, and he gets close to Ndwandwe, uh, Ndwandwe, and he's able to build play with him. And you sometimes maybe see him with he, it's him clearly, and 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 uh, uh, spear on 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 the thing on the uh, uh, on the on, on the left, you know. So he knows when to overload. He knows when to uh, tuck in. He's a very very smart player, you know. But with every team, uh, the with the good also comes uh, the bad. Any uh, weaknesses that you've picked up, Musa, from your former team? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what you uh, so much. <laughs> no, uh, it, it happens to everyone. As uh, Coach Steve Compella used to say, that is a short blanket. <laughs> because your 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 attack, your defense informs how you attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, as much as they 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 rely on uh, on their fullbacks, towards uh, Dube um, and Trele going forward, it can be very dangerous at times because it leaves spaces on mm-hmm. their sides. And if your central midfield is not is not tucking in as early as possible into to the center backs, so the center backs, the two center backs can stretch to cover those areas wide. It can give the an opposition an edge on you. You see, and the other thing is if they don't make uh, they don't make quick uh, quick fouls. You see, so I saw even yesterday there was a time where. Uh, super sport midfielders, they, they were penetrating them Baba. in the middle of the park. Baba. So they just needed to, to 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 make a tactical foul. Yes. Just to disturb the game and stop the game. Mm. But they, they wanted to win the ball cleanly. And sometimes you don't have to do that. You just need to tactical foul and then we regroup. Mm. So it, it, those those are the things that can can affect them at times and uh, be their weakness. I, I agree with you, you know, as much as they are very good uh, going forward, I think maybe uh, having so many good players, maybe having so many good offensive players kind of affects the way they defend, you know, because in some cases you find that uh, the only middle fielder, Ozo Shaya, is Uzu, you know, everyone else, they don't have someone, I'll use my team because I watch Sundowns a lot, when we outnumbered, I trust that Umabu will make a foul because he knows that that's his, his job. He needs to stop the opponents. He, hence, he gets a, a suspended a, 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 a quite a lot. You know, he knows that's that's part of his job. You know, and then there's another. Th- I think ours have a problem at centre back. I'm not sure whether it's lack of co- communication or lack of uh, I don't want to say leadership because. You find that in most cases, the two center beds, Umatiani and and uh, Sbisine, it, it's always like this. You they are never in most cases when they defend, you hardly find them partnered like this, standing like this, you know. And Umatiani gets drawn to the ball quite a lot. I uh, first game against Super Sport when Utebza had the ball, Tebza had so many had two options. Uh, one passing to Lungu, which eventually did, and Lungu scored. Né? But Onto wanted to press him. Matian wanted to press him, and then he left Urenas. So Utebza could have played a through ball to Urenas there, you know. And then in the game against uh, Marisberg on Saturday, the goal that uh, Marisberg scored, he pressed mm-hmm. Uskelem unnecessarily. He went way too deep to press Uskelem and then into open, open them up, you know. And then I, yesterday again, there, there was no need uh, to slide for Utami. You know, Tami was on the okay. side, man. You could have easily mm-hmm. guided him, you know. Uh, uh, I'm sure if he didn't slide, Tami was going to hold the ball and wait for support, you know. So those type of uh, mistakes. And I'm not sure if there's, when I mentioned leadership, there's shouting there. When Because Undo, Usbisi, I've seen that he's loud when he has the unbend, but when he doesn't have the unbend, maybe he's uh, as not as vocal as he normally is, yeah. you know, to tell the guys to, hey, Musa, uh, 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 stand here, Musa, drop, don't, don't, don't uh, Musa, follow, you know, uh, so I don't know, man, I think there's, uh, if there was more com- communication, they would defend much better as a team, eh? Yes, yes, yeah, I agree, I agree on that, but I, I think Yesterday's game, they, they just made uh, those they committed uh, silly errors. And the uh, super sport uh, counter attacked on those errors. But now they, they are well away and they are, they are more cautious because they are playing a, a so called big team mm-hmm. see, in the country. 
So those are the things that they will be cautious about because they, they know for a fact that Shalulila will draw them to the side, drag them, pull them to create spaces for other players. So now they'll be more cautious and be more vocal to try to close and block everything that they, they were trying to do against them. But yesterday, I, I think they, they were too, too relaxed and too confident that uh, they can beat Supersport again. Because if you check the records, they beat Supersport four times mm. in the past season, you see. Mm. So yesterday's game, it was one of those games where you think, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go through this game before even playing the game. So those are the games that are, are more dangerous. But now they are they are well aware that they are facing uh, clever players, skillful players, and in, and uh, tricky players. So they will, they will be more cautious as, as well. And I believe they will fix whatever small problems they had yesterday. Mm-hmm. Rapelang, what did you pick up when in terms of the weakness that uh, Golden Arrows? I think like uh, uh, Hotman uh, Mosef said, uh, like when their fullbacks pushes forward, their uh, 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 middle fielders don't cover for 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 for, 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 for their fullbacks, and it forces a guy like Sbia to drop to the left side and leave his position uh, exposed. The first goal that Supersport scored, Sibis. The first goal that Supersport scored, a uh, guy uh, bumped forward and. And Sapo capitalized on that space and he delivered a, a, a cross and Sibia was nowhere to be found because he had to 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 to, to, to go to the left uh, side and cover for 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 Gale. And we have said they they are centre backs they are not close to 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 each other. You'll find one in front of the the other one and also when the other is in front of the other one there is a huge uh, space in between. Not so it's not like. It is a, a meter and a half. So you find out it is Boma close to about five meter in between uh, 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 the, the, the two uh, centre backs. And also, uh, they are not dealing very well with the balls that are, are, are crossed inside uh, their box. How can two centre backs or uh, um, CBC and Kel are jumped by, by uh, Mbule? And I think that they should uh, rectify that mistake. And also, CBC is always caught a uh, ball watching. Like, he always, his eyes are always on the ball, but he doesn't check what, what is happening at the back or uh, around him. And also, uh, what led to, to the third goal is that Super Sports was 2-0 uh, up. They wanted to pull a, a goal back, and they, they, they end up playing with fourth shape. Everyone was just bombing forward and also it left a uh, 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 um, Tiani alone as it was that a uh, one v one where uh, Leana it was he was the last man in defense but he wanted to, to commit himself by, by by sliding and also Gabuza uh, 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 went through and uh, he punished them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mosa, this being a, a, a semi-final with uh, two legs what do you think would be a good result in this first leg for Golden Arrows? Not to concede the, the not to allow Sandals to get the away goal, because that is the most dangerous thing you can do. But knowing that the Sandals got the ability to unlock uh, any defense, unless uh, they they are missing on the day. But uh, the 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 good thing is you you just you just need to not to concede. Whatever you do, it's better they play a draw for zero zero or one or one nil win or two nil win. But if they have a away goal, it's gonna be tough for them to go to Pretoria and get two three goals. Mm. So the the best thing is just to not to allow Sundowns to get a away goal. If they can get an away goal, it must be one, not more than one. <laughs> that's the that's the the only way they can win the, the cup. Because in two oh nine, when we won the cup, we we didn't concede the first first leg against Amazon. Then mm. when we went second leg, we that's when we considered, but it was 
we won 2 0 first round, then we won 2 1 second mm. round. So we had a good uh, goal difference. Mm. So the best thing is if they score, it's better they win 2 1, not 3 2. It's going to be tough because they will, yeah, it's going to be a mountain for them. So whatever they do, they must just try to, to make sure that they don't concede. Uh, with that said, what's your prediction for this match? I see them winning 1-0. Aros, Aros will win 1-0. Who, who is scoring? Uh, it's just a tough one. Eh? It's a tough one. But uh, any of the front, front, front three. Mm. Yeah, in Sibia, Mutizwa, Gumede, uh, Modi, or Tongo. Either of those. One will, one will get the goal. Because most of their goals, they come from the, 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 mid, the wide midfielders mm. and the, the strikers. And the box midfielder sometimes, but uh, I believe the 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 front three one will get a goal because they 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 spawn transition most goals, so they will get one on the day. Yeah. All right, now Hossi, uh, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate you. Oh wait, okay. Yeah. Okay. Before, you Hotman Ava, I want to I want to ask him a question. Hotman, the goal that uh, uh, Jabulo Mangana scored uh, against Ajax Krypton in uh, uh, MTN final was it a fluke or he once <laughs> scored the similar goal at training? Because of I heard he once he once scored a similar goal at training, but I wanted to, to be sure. No, he once scored the same similar goal. Yes, oh. he, we used to call him Nyoga Nyoga. Nyoga. Yeah. Because okay. Used to the team. So okay. it, 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 it was a, it, it is trademark. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, man. Moza, thank you very much for your time, man. We really appreciate it. And hopefully this is not the last time we see you on the yellow corner. Eh? Uh, no problem. Anytime, my brother. Thanks for having me. All right, okay. Enjoy the rest of your uh, day. Ne? Thanks, thanks. Same to you guys. Sharp, sharp. Sharp, bro. Yeah, Raps, uh, moving to Sundowns. Uh, yeah, that game on, 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 on Tuesday, man. You know me, when I watch Sundowns or Liverpool, or Liverpool, I put my phone on silent and put it away and I don't touch it until the end of the match or halftime. 15 minutes uh, uh, left on on Tuesday. I was on my phone on Twitter. I was tempted to watch the Pirates game, but I saw tweets. Pirates supporters also complaining about their club, you know. And, yeah, uh, let's talk about our team, man. Uh, for you, Raps, is this the best 11 that we have, the one that's been playing? Or do you think the coaches know our best 11? They are just giving some players a chance right now to see that uh, Hore, when they are needed in matches of consequences as the season, uh, deep into the season, will uh, 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 they raise their hands and play. I'm saying this uh, because of the press conference I watched this this afternoon, yeah, Coach Hulani, uh, where he mentioned that uh, they were disappointed or didn't like how or when they dropped last season. So maybe this season they're working on having a book, bigger pool of players uh, uh, who can, you know, when, when, when Tabiso is not there, they know Rapelang will step up. Do you think that's the idea? Or they going with this 11 and this is our main 11, if I, put, I can put it that way? I, it, it is difficult to tell because it's still the, the early stages of the season. But I think they, they, they want to have a variety of players that they can a, 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 a field. Or they don't want to, to only rely on certain players because of, you know, when you rely on certain players, when it's time to, 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 to field those players who hasn't been playing a, a quite a number of games, like the, 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 the form uh, tends to, to drop a little bit. So I think one will say they want to experiment 
or the other one would say maybe the guys who are starting are the guys who did very well during the, 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 the preseason. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, hey, but that middle field three, man, is way too rigid, man. Like, I feel like I'm watching Milner, Vijnaldum, and Henderson, man. It's way, way too rigid. It's more hardworking than anything, you know, but yeah. Coach Nigas said something interesting at the end of Game Your Pirates, you know, and he, he said possession must equate the number of chances you create, you know, uh, it can be possession for possession, which I found very interesting because it's mm-hmm. the same with us. There's possession, but we don't create chances, you know, so it's really frustrating, you know, and yeah, we need to, like, the possession needs to equate into the number of chances that we create. With that said, how do we beat Aros? <sighs> Firstly, like football if you are betting against Chipper United, like you are not winning that game if we are gonna continue playing that kind of football. That, that there has to be some changes. There has to be like a, a, a huge difference. How should like game ya ya gona ya arose lele ya ntu ya 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 Chipper United. But how do we beat Aros? I think because of now we are playing a cup competition and we are playing away. And uh, 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 it is where a uh, away goal uh, uh, matters the most. So Aros knows that they have to win their home game. It is a must win. So they are going to, to, to take the game to Mamelodi the Sandals. They are going to push forward and uh, leave the, the, those spaces uh, uh, behind where we can uh, uh, keep talents. And also... Uh, 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 what you should do, but, uh, I think a guy like uh, Shalulile should do what Hobla and Reynas were doing uh, 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 when they played Arroz, is to throw one of the center backs out of their position and leave those pieces behind. Like, f- force them to, 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 to follow you behind so that Boserino and other players could... Uh, 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 in their spaces and also like their team that wants to to that that they are desperate to win the ball very quickly and they, they, they throw a lot of numbers forward to to press the opponent so if we can escape the press yeah arrows I'm definitely sure that we can get a, a something uh, maybe we can get a, a goal or two so uh, I think it's gonna be a difficult game but uh, in this game, like uh, possession, don't matter uh, the most. I think the goals are the ones that will matter the most. I agree with you. I think we need to play to our strength as Mamelodi Sundowns. I think we do not need to go into this game looking to nullify uh, uh, ours. You know, play to our strength. Wabo. By actually doing that, you're already nullifying them. You know, instead of focusing on hey, they are good at this, at this, at this. How do we stop them? No, let them worry about us. We are the bigger team here, you know. Uh, we need to play a mobile trail in the middle, man. A very mobile trail because the one that we've been playing for me, it's way too rigid, man, like I said. And then, like you said, I think we should target Matiani. I think we should target Matiani. And you know who would be perfect for, 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 for this? Someone like Kemet. Kemet does this so well. He drops uh, uh, deep. But mm. another player that does it so well. And the reason that they bought him, they mentioned oh, he can play as a 9 and a 10. He's a 9.5 base guy. A uh, uh, Kutumel. You know, yeah. Kutumel, I can do that. You know, and once once you, Matiani, uh, I mean, he, he, anyone who hasn't watched the games that I was, go watch the highlights only. It's like Golden Arrows. And you'll see how the number of times Matiani gets drawn into the ball, like Uluaki Bolo, like say Kasi, Uluaki Bolo. So have someone who's who's nippy, who's who will uh, uh, come deep at times, and then you know, uh, uh, someone like Kutumela and Erasmus. Ne? Create, create, and create. We need to create. Uh-huh. Game Yabon against uh-huh. Marisbet. Marisbet created so much is that, that they are finishing, let them down. But at the same time, we need to be careful that transition Yabon because they very. Uh, dangerous when it comes to that, you know. So, yeah, uh, lineup 
Yeah, uh, my, my, my lineup uh, will be different compared to the lineup that uh, I, I have went for in our previous games. So, so I'll, I'll, I think my, my new is back. I'll definitely, uh, the goals, I'll have Tapelo uh, Morena. As a right back, I'll have uh, Grant Giga and a right centre back, uh, Roshin De Rook, a uh, left centre back. I'll have Lyle Lake, more, 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 uh, left back. In. Then uh, I'll have uh, Jali, SS6, um, Kulisi, 8. Then up front, I'll play a uh, 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 diamond. I, I'll have a uh, 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 Serino, a uh, SS10. Then uh, my front players will be uh, Peter Shalulile and Kemet Erasmus. <laughs> we have we have the same lineup. Eh? I kid you not. We have the same lineup. <laughs> it's funny because we didn't even discuss this one. We have the same lineup. I, w- I was definitely gonna drop a uh, uh, come on a uh, river. Lay nice well. Yeah, we have the same lineup. And uh, having spoken about and not being worried about nullifying ours. Another thing Coach Kulani mentioned is that the ours this season, by the time 18 crosses uh, or more to the box or Mvala, I think will be very key uh, for that. But Mkuli, there's a lot of mobility in there. Score prediction? Uh, we are going to win 2-1. Hmm. We have a lot of similarities today. We're not 2-1. Who, who's, who's scoring for us? The goal will come from Serino, the first one, and the other one, uh, Erasmus will score. Okay, okay. I think uh, Shalulide and Erasmus will get us the goals, and yeah, we need a we need a performance. That's all we ask from from the players, Tarona. You know, uh, uh, give us a performance, man. That's all you we ask. But, you know, even when we lose, but as long as you've given us a performance, uh, we have to give us a performance of on Saturday. Masandawana, that's that. That's uh, the last uh, preview uh, done until our next league game against Chiefs because uh, next week it's uh, the international uh, week. So good luck to the boys. Please win or get a positive result so that we enjoy this interna- international break. You know, going to an international break, Lejo, man, it's, yeah, it sucks. It's long and all that. So good luck to the boys. Hopefully they come back with a W. And yeah, the guys will give you the review on Saturday after the game. Uh, Dogish, thank you. Cheers. Shop, shop, Aizu. Shop, shop.